Hi everyone, it's Sally Simmons here, Director of Love Your Weight Loss, best-selling weight loss author. Um, and today I'm going to make pumpkin soup. Now, I don't even like pumpkin soup, except for this pumpkin soup. And like all of my recipes in Love Your Weight Loss, it's really fast. Now I know you're sitting there thinking like, how the hell can you make pumpkin soup really quickly because you've got to cook the pumpkin? This is, I tell you, the easiest way to cook a pumpkin you have ever seen. First of all, get a pumpkin. Here's what I prepared earlier. Get a knife. Stab the pumpkin. What you're doing then is you're cutting a triangular hole in the pumpkin. And you take out the little triangular wedge. So what you've got is a little hole in the pumpkin like that so that the air can escape. Then you get your whole pumpkin on a plate and you pop it in the microwave. The whole pumpkin, yes, the whole pumpkin, because people keep asking me, is it the whole pumpkin? Yes, it's the whole pumpkin. Then you cook the pumpkin on high in the microwave for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the pumpkin. And then it comes out looking like this and then you let it cool for a while, or you burn your little fingers. Then you cut it open. A bit. And you have a whole heap of cooked pumpkin, ready to make the pumpkin soup. All right, so here I am with some cooked pumpkin that I scraped out of the pumpkin, the whole pumpkin I cooked in the microwave. Um, so really easy, it's still very warm, but it's not burning your fingers. Um, sort of warm. Okay, now my lovely assistant Alana is going to help me make the pumpkin soup. So what we've got here, we're road testing a Vitamix versus a Fruity Optimum 9200A blender, just to see how well they blend. And we've got the same ingredients and we're going to blend for the same amount of time, so it's the big blender test. Right, so we've got, you know, approximately 300 grams of cooked pumpkin that's going to go in our machines. We've got about half a cup of low-fat ricotta, um, but you can use other sorts of cheeses of a similar consistency. So you might want to use a cashew cheese because cashew and pumpkin taste pretty nice. Um, we've got a couple of tablespoons of milk. Um, so again, almond milk works well, dairy milk also works well. Um, I'm going to whack in some cracked black pepper because I really like black pepper. Um, you like black pepper? Yes. Keep us through. Okay. Um, then I'm also going to add in some bacon, 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 with all the fat removed. And I've cooked that um, as well. And I'm going to add in a little a, a sprig of rosemary. Bring it like that. And, you know, when you're flavouring things, you can be a bit liberal in what you want to put in them. If you like garlic, you can add garlic. Um, that tastes pretty nice. I really like garlic. My husband doesn't like garlic too much, though. Um, and then you can add something um, like onion or spring onions, something like that, just to give it that little bit of zing, just so to give it a little bit of texture as well. So I'm just roughly chopping some spring onions. I'll take a handful each, throw them in. Okay. Pop the lids on our blenders. So right, ready to go. One good thing about the Optimum Blender, it's just a one-touch start. So we'll go, oh, one, two, three, and we'll start. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Tamper sticks to mix it in a little bit better, but already you can see that the Fruity has blended things a lot better than the, the Vitamix so far. Okay, so we've both got our little tamper tools that we're going to use. Um, so just take the top bit off and put the little tamper tool in. But I think one of the reasons before we press the play button again um, that the Fruity blends better than the Vitamix is because it does have 3.5 horsepower motor. So it's got lots of power behind it. So, okay, we're ready to go. And I think I turned mine off before. Okay, ready and go. <laughs> Off. 
can suit bowls. Let's see how they look. Okay, so pouring them in. So mine's a lot smoother and easy to pour than yours, I think, already. And again, like we noticed when we did the pistachio and carrot spread, there's a slight different colour and the colour difference is because of how well it blends. So that's got a really nice pumpkin-y colour because it's blended really well and the colours are different and they should be the same because it's exactly the same pumpkin. Um, you know, sometimes if you use a different pumpkin, the actual pumpkin can be a different colour, but it's exactly the same pumpkin, exactly the same ingredients. Yes. So one of the reasons I like the, the Optimum 9200A is because it has a lot of power and it makes things really fast. And I know when I'm dealing with my weight loss clients through Love Your Weight Loss, not having the time to make healthy food is one of the big stumbling blocks for people. So if you've got a blender that's one touch, easy to clean, 3.5 horsepower, it makes it really simple. So time for some pumpkin soup. <laughs>